Hello everyone, welcome back! Everybody crack open a sparkling water. There's a lot to go over on the subreddit today, so I want to just get right into it. A lot's been happening, so everybody take a sip. And then let's do top, and it's been a couple weeks, so let's do month. Yes indeed, we've got the biggest news of all right here on the top of the subreddit, guys. I am gonna be a dad, and Laura is gonna be a mom. Laura basically already is a mom. If you don't follow me on Instagram and you also missed it in the most recent main channel video, we're having a baby. It's due in October. We're very excited, as you can tell. The caption of this Reddit post is, so that's why he bought the tactical stroller. No, but seriously, I'm so happy for him. He's gonna be a great dad. First off, thank you. And thank you to everybody who's been wishing us well in the comments and everything. It's very sweet. I'm really excited. Just a heads up, I'm probably gonna be taken some time off once we have the baby. I'm not really sure how much yet, because I know, I think I have a brand deal I have to do in December, so I'll probably post a video in December, but I don't know, I might take like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I might be gone for a while, so yeah, just a heads up on that. Interesting you brought up the tactical stroller. I've seen a few people mention that, like, oh, he must have bought that because they knew they were having a baby, and he just wanted to make a video about it. It was actually kind of a crazy coincidence. The two were totally separate, and I started making the tactical stroller video first. Someone sent it to me, and I was like, oh, that's funny. I'll start making a video about it, and I bought it. I ordered it. I started the video, and then th we found out that we were having a baby while I was making that video. It was actually kind of like a crazy coincidence. When I posted that video, I got a lot of comments being like, oh, I thought this was gonna be like a pregnancy announcement or something. Also people being like, this probably came up on his For You page because he's expecting a baby. And so it got advertised to him. No, we didn't even know that we were having a baby yet by the, like when I started making the video. Bro's gonna have the ultimate tactical baby. You know what? I still have the stroller. It's in my basement. It's covered in paintballs, but I'm probably gonna hose it off and actually use it. Or like I'll give it, we'll give it to Laura's parents or my parents so that like when, if if they're ever staying with them, they, they have a stroller. It's a nice stroller, it was expensive. I'm not just gonna get rid of it, so. I did have to make the conscious decision to keep it because we just moved. So I was like, we could get rid of it now or I can bring it. So we have it, it's in the basement. Oh my God, Danny has to buy the pony up daddy now. Oh no, uh, <laughs> no. No, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be that kind of kid. It's not gonna be that kind of kid. They're not gonna like that sort of thing, so no. I like that that was in response to a comment about the tactical stroller. That just made me think like, instead of the tactical stroller, he should buy the pony up dad to take the kid up for walks outside. I'm on all fours crawling around with a saddle on my back and the baby is riding me. That would be sick. It has got to be true. Why would he spend so much on a stroller? I'm so happy right now, it's unbelievable. I hate to break it to you, dude, but I just, I just wanted to test the stroller. That was literally just for the video. He also like destroyed the stroller. Yeah, I was not intending to keep that thing. Okay. This is cursed. This is a. Uh, this is awful. Yeah, I'm just gonna downvote that real quick. I accidentally told my grandma Danny was pregnant, but she was really happy about it. Bro, Danny's having a baby. Oh, sorry, grandma. I didn't mean to text you. Tell him I said congratulations. Who is Danny? Dude, your grandma types crazy. How can your grandma find the emojis but can't find the space bar? That's wild. But I like that she sent a link to my favorite website. Who dot is dot Danny? It's my favorite website. It's just a picture of me. It makes everything she says like seem way more dramatic. Too. Who is Danny? This dot is dot so dot q. Oh shoot, dude, my paparazzi videos are on the subreddit. Let's go. Okay, you know what was crazy? Seeing people's reactions to these in real time as I was posting them was insane, dude. I feel like I was driving people crazy. I felt so bad. I wasn't really trying to trick you guys. Like this wasn't one of my like, oh, I'm gonna trick my whole audience type of experiments. I was just kind of like trying to see how I could improve upon Ryan Halls' method. So that's why I was posting them. But people on TikTok were coming up with all sorts of crazy ass theories as to what I was doing. Like, oh, he's gonna post a video called like, I tricked all my fans into thinking I was getting followed by the paparazzi. Or like, guys, these are so obviously fake. He's probably faking something else. And this is just to distract us from that thing. I saw so many TikToks about it. Let me see. Actually, I'm gonna try to pull them up. Okay, so this is one of the TikToks I saw. I saw so many trying to come up with theories. This one says, no, what if the real prank Danny's trying to pull is just driving his fan base to insanity? Because now every single newly created Danny Gonzalez fan account I see, I'm just like, wait, is this him? Now no one can trust anyone. And this was his plan 
all along. And the whole reason for putting out the paparazzi account is to show it's obviously him when he's really lurking somewhere else and we'll never know for sure what other accounts are actually his. I felt so bad watching these all come out because I was like, oh my god, dude, I did <laughs> it's not that deep. Are you on Greg Gonzalez slash Viral Vision News TikTok? What do you guys think the video is going to be called? Guys, what if this one is a red herring to distract us from his actual plan to disguise himself as someone else? The amount of like attributing motive that people did when I was posting these was insane. Because honestly, I was just fucking around. I was just like being silly. I was just kind of goofing around. At first, I wanted to just kind of end my video about the Halls of Brothers with some TikToks that I made as kind of like parodies of their TikToks. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go make a bunch of these and I'll just end the video with these. But then as I got to planning and like making them, I was like, well, I don't really know if I want to just like end the video with a compilation of TikToks. That seems kind of lame. So how can I use these to like add another section onto the video? So I was like, okay, maybe I'll just like make another segment where I use these TikToks to give them suggestions for how they can improve their videos. So be like kind of parodying their videos while also like adding another funny element to the video. So that was my whole plan. So it was kind of just like a silly little extra bit to the video. But seeing everyone like theorize and come up with conspiracies of what I was doing made me feel like in ancient times when sometimes it would rain and sometimes it wouldn't and people would think that like the rain god was mad at them and come up with all these reasons why the rain god's not making it rain. I felt like the rain god, dude. Actually, no, not the rain god. I felt like, I guess just like clouds. I felt like cl how clouds would feel if they could feel. Yeah, I just felt like clouds, man. Sometimes it rains and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes I post a bunch of paparazzi videos of myself on TikTok and sometimes I don't, man. You're just gonna have to get used to it. Plan your crops accordingly. Oh, but the craziest thing that happened is, okay, so I made the TikTok account Viral Vision News. I uploaded all of the TikToks to that, then re-downloaded them and then deleted that account. Really, I privated it first and then after a while, I was like, I should just delete it because people were finding it. Some kid made this, made a TikTok account called Viral Vision News, but he replaced the L with an I because he obviously couldn't get my account name. So he just tried to make it look as much like Viral Vision News as possible. And like nobody noticed that it wasn't this, like the same account name. So people thought that this was the account that I made. And he gained like 13,000 followers by like kind of pretending to be me. He made his bio definitely day, Atne, Annie day, Gonzalez gay. And then just started posting the most unhinged edit of me. <laughs> crazy because like this really had nothing to do with my video. It was just some kid that like took an opportunity and seized it. But it's so funny because like all of the comments on this dude's videos were like genuinely chopping at the bit trying to figure out how all of this is connected. I'm so excited for whatever video this is gonna be for. For some reason you guys seem to not believe me when I say that I'm not Danny Gonzalez. You can see here that I am not him. I am a child. This is literally Danny Gonzalez, can't you tell, by his voice and house style. Oh, Danny probably paid him off to make this video. Guys, when I tell you to use your critical thinking skills, I mean it's so hard, dude. It's not even the same account name. It, there's an I in there. And people were like including this account in their conspiracies of like, okay, so he's got these fake paparazzi videos, and then he's paying some 15-year-old kid to post these weird, ambiguous TikToks where he keeps saying he's not Danny Gonzalez. What the fuck is going on, dude? So yeah, anyway, I thought that was funny. If I do do another video like this, I should probably plan a little bit better so that the account can't be so easily spoofed, maybe. But I actually, I think that the video did better because I posted all these TikToks beforehand. It was, in a way, it was kind of like a trailer for the video. Like, it was like, it got people interested in what the idea of the video was before I even posted it. So I thought that, I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, I saw some people saying this. I tricked everyone into thinking my wife was pregnant. Do you guys think I'm a sociopath, man? There were genuinely people that believed that. I was I was pretty surprised by that. My little sister watching a Danny video on her flip phone. Dude, that is dedication, man. That's like the tiniest screen you could possibly watch a video on. I can't even think of a smaller screen you could do that on. An Apple Watch, maybe? The speakers on that thing are probably crazy, too. Like, my voice probably sounds like a little- Like it's coming out of a tiny little can. Well, I appreciate the dedication. Behold, the commentary collab web. Okay, let's check it out. Who do we got? We got Chad, Chad, Jarvis. Jordan, Danny, Nick, D'Angelo, Drew, Curtis, Eddie, Cody, Jacob. And I have collabed with Chad Chad. Jarvis. Okay, actually, I have collabed with Jordan too because I was on Jarvis and Jordan's pop. Jar. Jar. 
Did I say Jorvis and Jordan? Jarvis and Jordan. I was on their podcast. Collab with Nick. I've collabed with Curtis. Oh, I've collabed with Cody also. Dude, this web needs some work, man. I've collabed with Eddie too. Yeah, I think this needs to be taken back to the shop and looked at a little bit. Back to the drawing board, please. We need like a heat map kind of web or something where you can tell like by the thickness of the line how many times each person has collaborated with the other or something like that. This could be better. I like the format and it's kind of interesting to look at, but yeah, cause like my, my lines with like Drew and probably Curtis would be pretty thick. Yeah, that would be pretty interesting to see. So I'm looking forward to a V2 if possible. Eventually you could connect it to other genres of YouTube and you could like kind of make a whole YouTube ecosystem collab web, but have like clusters for different like genres. That'd be kind of cool. I'm putting this all on you, whoever made this. If you ain't got elegance, is that a uh, Hello Dolly reference? If you ain't got elegance, go ahead and make that whole thing with every YouTuber in every genre. That would be really cool to see. Congrats to Danny on the baby. He's gonna be a great dad. He's on X Games mode. Hey, I gotta keep my baby tactical, man. No, don't worry. I'm not gonna do that with my baby. I got it all out of my system with this one. Danny said we need more high quality memes, so I present this subreddit lore. Okay. See, this is what I wanna see. Some, some lore to the subreddit. We need collective community lore. Let's see what they've got. Okay, user, best penalty, 3475, calculating what facial feature to remove from Danny. We got Greg's arguing over the secret to Danny's eternal youth. How Danny feels after using the tack light. That's so true, dude. And the stroller, honestly. And sub finding anything that has more than a 1% resemblance to Danny. Greg's after finally searching up if Greg is the fastest growing army on the internet. The sub after realizing only Ghostly Orchid is allowed to use their telekinetic powers. True Greg's explaining the in-depth lore of the my bones are getting squishy joke. And the sub's content exploding after Danny posts a new video. Thank you for the lore. I appreciate the new sparkly shiny meme it's beautiful oh dude i've been wanting to talk about these videos too i saw eddie did a tiktok about these but i've seen people tweeting them at me too this account posts so many videos they posted like dozens and dozens of videos like this chloe kardashian versus danny gonzalez where like every video they're comparing me to a different celebrity also making it kind of sound like we have some kind of beef or something chloe kardashian versus danny gonzalez who would win in a fight but yeah look at look at they've posted so many videos and like they're like not even comparing me to other youtubers, which is the crazy part They're comparing me to like a list celebrities But it seems like they'll like go through one person like they did me and compared me to like every person possible And then they move on to someone else So then they started doing Eddie and then if you scroll a little farther after Eddie They started doing Sophia Nygaard. I'll click on one of the videos so you can see kind of what they look like He was born on 27 June 1984 Currently in 2023, her age is 38. Okay, so that's Chloe. There's a lot of facts about Chloe. He goes through a bunch. The versus just makes it seem like he's comparing like how tall Chloe is to how tall I am. And like the audience is left to decide like who won. This is like epic rap battles of history in a way. Number two, his name is Danny Gonzalez. He was born on June 12, 1994. So true. And in 2023, he is 28 years old. Yes, dude, he is spitting. He is 5 feet, 11 inch tall. His weight is 70 kilograms. Mm, I don't know kilograms, but maybe. He is YouTuber by profession. Yep. He is very famous on YouTube with 6.09 million subscribers. How does Chloe compare on YouTube, by the way? Does he bring up her YouTube account at all? No, it doesn't look like he does. So he's not even comparing the same thing. His wife's name is Laura. Mm -hmm. His nationality is American. Yes. And his net worth is approximately $5.09 million. Shit. Dude, okay, how does that compare to Chloe? Probably richer than her, right? No, okay. Now she's worth $60 million. So anyway, yeah, this account is awesome. I, I was honestly so curious how I compared to Olivia Olivia Rodrigo. So this is great. I can just click on this video and like check it out anytime. Olivia Rodrigo. Yes. She was born on February 20, 2003. Number two, his name is Danny Gonzalez. He was born on June 12, 1994. And currently in 2023, he is 28 years old. I don't like that the music stops when he gets to me. The music was playing through the whole Olivia Rodrigo part. Olivia Rodrigo. This makes it seem so ominous that you stop the music when you start talking about me. Why don't I get the music? Horror music starts playing. He was born on June 12, 1994. 
and currently in 2023 he is 28 years old. This makes it seem like I went missing or something. All right, well anyway, thank you to Reality in Fact for the post. Okay, well, yeah, we got another Pride Month shout out. Right, what's up, Pride Month? Hello, gays. <laughs> How we doing? This is from my stream that I did last night. So if you don't know, I've been streaming every once in a while on YouTube on the Danny Gamesales channel because I'm trying to speed run Minecraft. I'm doing a video where I'm working on seeing if I can speed run Minecraft. So if you want to come and watch me, go and subscribe to that channel. Sometimes I live stream on there, but also all of like the past three live streams that I've done have been are still up on there. So you can go check those out. Um, but yeah, that's been pretty fun. And I think I'm gonna do it. I'm getting better. I'm I'm a lot better than I was when I started. All right, guys. Well. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. That's it for today. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Bye.